Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm going to give a shout out to the notification gang, Key Talk gang. Give it all the really the same thing for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the notification so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways. So of course, whenever I reported on Lil Baby artist Dirty Tay, a lot of y'all was like, oh, man, yeah, the Rico's definitely 100% coming in. Now, this dude just sealed the deal for the Rico for 4 PF. Well, here's the details as far as you know what the 12s are saying actually happened uh the story of what they're saying was pretty much like a drive-by shooting not just a drive-by shooting but you know somebody spot the ops and go off on the ops now of course little baby's artist dirty tay is also he's presuming his innocent he's pretty much said man i'm innocent i didn't do this but this is what the 12 is saying Atlanta police said Contavious Wright, 24, was arrested on August 19th on charges of criminal attempt to commit murder. So pretty much he got the attempted murder because the baby actually did get shot. And not only did the baby get shot, and that's why he got the attempted murder, but they're also saying that the bullet was possibly not even meant for the baby but it was still sent out you know in a direction where a guy was with his baby as well and then of course they got him with criminal street gang participation so that's how they're going to tie 4PF in with his obviously he's repping 4PF obviously they've already listed 4PF of an actual gang they got him on that little sheet of paper that they said they were already investigating so now he's got attempted murder they've tied him to 4PF because they put him you know gave him another charge of uh, criminal street gang participation and then of course they gave him aggravated assault and an aggravated battery and cruelty to children so they kind of linked all those together so pretty much it's kind of like they gave them all those charges and then at the end just linked it all to 4PF because they're saying gang activity which of course if a Rico does come out all they say with a Rico is that if it's furthering you know or, or furthering the, the continuance of a criminal organization that's what they always say and if a guy's a part of that he get charged some court they're going to put that on it as well anyways the rest of it says police said the shooting happened on August 3rd around 4 p.m. on Peter Street Atlanta police said the father and son were leaving nearby business when someone in a blue kill optima began to follow them. So pretty much, you know, I'm talking about Buddy spotted the ops, but no, he, he didn't just spot the op, he spotted the op with the ops, baby son, three-year-old son, you know what I'm talking about? So I guess, you know what I'm talking about, let them get inside the car and start to drop off. And then it said the blue kill Altima all of a sudden pulled up and started to follow him. And not only did it start to follow him, the next thing that happened, it says, and opened fire onto the car. So spotted the ops coming out of, you know what I'm talking about, maybe some building or something like that the ops got inside the car still watching the ops and then of course they decide to pull off so he goes ahead and follow the car and bang 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 shoots up the car and then it says the child sustained a gunshot wound to the head of course that's where the child got shot so maybe you know because it probably wouldn't even direct the form but still got hit in it and that's why you know talking about all them extra charges got put on there and then it says the father drove to a nearby gas station where the child was then rushed to the hospital in a critical but stable condition the child's name and current condition have not been released Atlanta police said they believe the father was targeted. So, of course, they are saying the father was targeted, and they're, they're mixing a gang with it as well. So, they're probably going to try to say that there was a hit put out on or something like that. But here's the thing about it. They didn't give any details as far as how they knew that it was Dirty Tate that actually did it. But they did know the vehicle. You know what I'm talking about? So, maybe they found him by the vehicle. Maybe they got other footage of him in the vehicle. Uh, I, I don't know if the vehicle maybe had a license plate on it or something like that. Anyway, all I know is, you know what I'm talking about? They know what happened as the fighter got into the car. They know that the car the following them. They know the shots came out. The bullets came out. You know what I'm talking about? Now, I don't know how in a blue hell they knew, you know, somebody exactly who did it. And that's why, you know, what I'm talking about Dirty Tay's coming out right now saying, hey, I am innocent before y'all, you know, somebody give me to the court of public opinion, try to, you know, what I'm talking make me guilty. I'm saying that I'm innocent. Anyways, as more details come out about that, I'll definitely let y'all know. Anyways, so Lil TJ Fresh, you know, what I'm talking about, well, I don't want to say fresh off of getting shot seven times, but I do want to still say fresh because it was not that long ago as well. So Lil TJ, that's fresh off of getting shot seven time not only getting shot seven times somebody tried to rob buddy and of course you know somebody that they did end up getting arrested but anyways nobody knew if little tj was gonna make it of course he did actually make it even after getting shot seven times and he reported you know somebody he recorded a new song called beat the eyes which is pretty smart for marketing but in that song can you guess what little tj did you know what i'm talking about i'm talking about buddy is fresh off getting shot but still got he is still on demon time pretty much because in that song 
song beat the odds, he still dissed the dead ops. But he said, never had no doubt if I'm going to make it or not. Probably, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't doubted he was going to make it. Now, he knew he was going to make it. You know why he knew he was going to make it? The next line says, because I ain't a dummy, Ra, U-E, or Woolotty. But he done, you know what I'm saying? He said, yeah, them, uh, them ops that got shot, you know what I'm saying? They the dummy. That's why they ain't living no more, you know what I'm saying? I'm still alive. I made it anyways. So, of course, everybody in the comment section was like, oh, wow. But he's still on Demon Time. Even after he just barely still living, you know what I'm saying? I barely still living, but, you know, barely survived for seven shots people get dead for one shot you know what i'm talking about and buddy don't mess around and survive seven shots came back and of course whenever you come back from getting shot everybody gonna listen to that song it's kind of like automatic giving you a free hit there not a free hit but just a lot of you know some of people listening to it and buddy could not you know talking about let this moment pass by without dissing the ops inside of it anyways now of course since they did this the ops inside of this song that's gonna be you know somebody pretty big especially because he actually did do that you know some of the, the, the people or the members of the ops that he just did of course not gonna let up on buddy if Anything, they're gonna try to pick it up. You know, I'm talking about, oh, you got shot seven times? Well, I'm gonna hit him one more, give him eight, see if he survived that as well. That's probably what they're gonna be thinking. Anyways, let me know something. So, how do y'all feel about, you know, I'm talking about the story with Dirty Tay? And then, of course, you know, I'm talking about he still caught, saying he's innocent, didn't do it at all, but that's what the 12 are doing, trying to top 4 p.m. to it. And then also, you know, I'm talking about Lil Tay's finally back after getting shot seven times, but Buddy did this to Ops on his first song, Back Beat the Eyes. Let me know something. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal. I'm out.